morning it is day 20 and we are getting I am getting ready to slack pack today uh, I am only doing a about a seven and a half mile hike or maybe close to eight um, not exactly sure it's a beautiful day out it is cold right now it is in the 20s but uh, it is supposed to warm up here shortly show this view with you it is a, a very nice morning it uh, is supposed to get up into the uh, 40s maybe into the 50s to this morning or later the day I'll be off the trail by then but it is supposed to uh, be a nice day so I'm going to head out on the trail the more beautiful scenery through the trees sun's coming up now it's starting to warm up a little bit just finished the first climb for the day in the last uh, 2.1 miles climbed about a thousand feet uh, it's a, a beautiful day out here I haven't got to any place where I have a spectacular view but if I do you know I will stop and share it got a little bit of a view through this clearing uh, I was coming down the hill and turned the corner and this is what I got not much of a view but if I find something better obviously I'll share it I don't know if you can hear that in the background but I happen to be come across this section which has been in the shade but the water had froze on the limbs last night so now we just got to the temperature where the ice is breaking up off the limbs and falling it almost sounds like a, a river running you might be able to see uh, streaks of light come down let me zoom in every once in a while you probably see some ice droplets that fall but it's so cool ha having uh, ice on the trees and it's just the right temperature that uh, we have ice coming down there's all kinds of little pieces of ice on the ground that have uh, chipped off of each of the branches I mentioned about the ice falling off the trees here's what the trail looks like those are all little pieces of ice that have come off the branches hey there heading up the trail I have about a mile left to go for today uh, but wanted to share a little bit about the trail uh, I know I was showing in previous uh, videos the rocks and that I've had to climb over and I think some of the stairs, a lot of the uh, uphills either have switchbacks or stairs. But a lot of the trail is like what I'm showing you now. Um, sometimes it's flat. Usually it's going up or going down. Um, this one has a slight inc incline. But I'm sure it will go down here shortly. Um, there's a saying on the application... App yeah, sorry. On the Appalachian Trail... Uh, that you are hiking the PUDS. It stands for pointless ups and downs. Um, I don't consider them pointless. It's how I'm getting to where I need to go. But uh, it is a lot of ups and downs. Even though my general direction today is heading downhill, uh, I've had to do a number of climbs. You can see the trail is now going back up again. So, as I said, I'm about a mile away and just wanted to share a little bit uh, about uh, hiking on the trail. Well, I made it to my destination for the day, waiting for my pickup, uh, who uh, will take me to dinner and then take me back to the hostel. Uh, it was a beautiful day. The sun was out. So, saw that interesting uh, ice, uh, uh, ice falling from the trees and the uh, shimmering of the uh, ice in the trees and a uh, little bit of views, but not much. But it was a good day. Hey there. Time to do an extra video today. Um, post this sometime while I'm up in the Smokies, but I'm titling this one No mom, I'm not traveling by myself on the trail. I just don't know anybody out here So I've got a lot of people asking me. Are you taking somebody with you? And the answer is no uh, I did, actually didn't have any volunteers I asked everybody who asked me that if they wanted to go and everybody said no so technically I'm am hiking alone, but there are a lot of other people out here and uh, a lot of interesting people I met I talked about uh, Ray or canvas back uh, he hiked with me through most of Georgia he's a, a retired retired uh, military and um, worked uh, uh, in explosives uh, I've uh, hiked with Ranger Dan Ranger Dan is a, actually um, teaches uh, um, skydiving uh, to new uh, new recruits he's in his 60s he's a uh, retired retired um, but uh, he still goes back and does training 
Uh, his original plan was to finish this trail by May. He was starting in February, or fin finished by May because he had some training to go do, but the trail convinced him otherwise. Um, it does that, does that pretty quickly when you start hiking the mountains in Georgia. He's now uh, saying, oh, I'll just get off trail, go do training, and I'll come back, which is a good thing. Uh, yesterday evening, I sp stayed at the hostel with uh, Finn. Finn is a girl from Finland who's here traveling. Uh, she actually tried to do the trail in 2021, or in 2020, and they closed the trail because of COVID, uh, along with a lot of other stuff that was was uh, closed. Uh, but she is uh, back on trail. She started at the very beginning again, even though she had done 600 miles before, she decided to, she wanted to do the whole thing in one year, so she restarted. Um, she's very fast. Uh, she uh, um, continued on today. Um, to uh, Fontana Dam. Um, she has five months to finish it uh, and she has to be heading back to, she has a return ticket to Finland uh, in June. So she's heading that way. I met uh, a couple other people. Um, yesterday I met a guy by the that goes by the trail named Slug. He actually started last April, so that's 10 months ago he's been hiking. He did a what's called a flip-flop. He started somewhere in the middle of the trail, headed north, and then uh, after the uh, after he uh, finished the um, up to Mount Katahdin, he got a ride back to where he started, and now he's heading south. He's uh, probably uh, still a couple weeks before before he'll finish, but um, he goes by the name Slug, and he's out here enjoying every minute of it. Uh, and I met an interesting fellow today. Goes by the mayor. I came around the corner today, and there's this guy with a big red foam hat. I mean, very tall, like something the Mad Hatter would wear. And it just says, love you on the on the hat. And he introduces himself as the mayor. Um, that's his trail name. Uh, he actually gave me a, a snack and uh, we talked for quite a while. So it was kind of cool uh, to meet the mayor um, who is hiking the trail southbound. And he's, he's probably, also has a couple weeks to go. Uh, he told me, that he has only taken one zero the entire time he's been out here. So, uh, and that was on Christmas when it got down to three degrees where he was at. So, while I am hiking alone, there are lots of people out here who I just haven't met yet. So I am uh, out here uh, meeting new people. And just like in life, there are some people that uh, um, you'd rather not hang out with. And I've met a couple of them and decided that... Uh, I didn't need to hike with them, so you could, you have a choice. You can either hike faster than them or slower than them, um, and you don't have to deal with them. Uh, just like some, just like people in real life, if you don't, if there's somebody out here that uh, is annoying, you just find somebody else to hang out with. So that's this is my video about the friends I will meet on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs>
So three weeks I've been out here. I'm hiking the trail this morning. Again, I'm slack packing. I stayed at a hostel last night, staying at a hostel tonight. Uh, tomorrow I will be leaving Fontana Dam, gateway to the uh, Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Am is what forms Lake Fontana. And Lake Fontana is that down there through the trees. So I can see it from here. I'm actually hiking down there today. I've got about a seven mile hike today. But I uh, just wanted to share a little bit of the picture of Lake Fontana. I don't know if I'll get a better picture ahead, but if I do, of course, I'll share it. So I'm still heading down to Fontana Dam. Um, I showed L Lake Fontana earlier. You can see through here through the trees, there's Fontana Dam with Fontana Lake behind it. I'm sure I'll get some better pictures when I get down there. I'm currently heading down into the Fontana Dam, uh, or Fontana Marina, or Fontana Village. Uh, there's a store down here, I believe. I'm going to get a drink, and uh, then I'm going to head up to the dam. But just thought I'd share a little bit about the share a little of the marina. So while packing up this morning, then my slack pack to uh, head out. I forgot to put any snacks and stuff in my uh, bag. Uh, so even though it's a short eight-mile day, it's still nice to have something. I've got a couple hours, uh, yeah, at least two hours before the shuttle shows up to pick me up. So I stopped here at the marina, picked up some snacks, and sitting here at the marina enjoying a little bit of the view while I have my snacks. I've got about a mile and a half left to go until uh, I get to the visitor center, and that's where they're going to pick me up at 3 o'clock. Hello. I wanted to stop here. This is the Fontana Hilton. It's actually the Fontana Shelter. It is one of the uh, nicest shelters, uh, um, according to the logbook on the... Uh, Appalachian Trail, so I thought I'd stop by and show it to you. Um, it is uh, interestingly built. It's kind of like a walkthrough rather than uh, three-sided. So you have a upper and lower bunk on this side and an upper and lower bunk on this side. The other thing that's uh, neat about this one is you have this terrific view of the lake. Um, don't often have these kinds of views at the, the shelter. You also have a power-up station. Um, I'm told it doesn't work. I, I haven't tried it. But uh, so to charge your phone, you have trash receptacles. You have a nice uh, uh, deck with picnic tables and, and, uh, and um, some benches down there, a big fire ring. Um, very nice shelter. I don't think I'm going to be staying here. In fact, I know I'm not going to be staying here because I want to get a start heading to uh, uh, the, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I'm staying at a, a hostel tonight and getting ready to start. Um, but I just wanted to show you the, uh, the um, Fontana Hilton, as it's called. It's obviously not uh, any relation to the hotel, but I uh, wanted to share that while we were here. Another amenity that you're not going to find at many shelters is a bathroom with flush toilets and a shower and a drinking fountain. Normally we're having to uh, go find a stream and purify our own water. But here we have a drinking fountain and a working bathroom. I made it down to Fontana Dam. I wanted to share a little bit about uh, the Fontana Dam. It looks like they're doing maintenance work right now on the uh, big spillway. That's probably why the uh, lake is uh, drains so far down. This is the great big spillway gates. As you can see they have scaffolding up next to them and they're doing work up on the bridge. But uh, that is normally where the uh, spill water would go if they needed to open the, the spillways. Right now the uh, water is low enough that there's no water coming up coming up to the uh, spillways. Visitor center. The visitor center is currently closed until April. Uh, but uh, we can go up to the observation tower that's on top of the visitor center, which is where I'm at now. And you can see the very large dam that is uh, Fontana Dam. And the uh, down there at the very bottom is the uh, substation. And all the power lines that uh, are fed out of there. And then going down farther, you can see the, uh, the river. Um, not moving very much right now. They're probably not doing a whole lot of release right now because the water is so low. Um, but again, I think I said before, that water is low because of the uh, they drain it to, in the winter. 
Um, but just wanted to uh, share some pictures of the dam before we my ride gets here. So there's a welcome sign that tells a little bit about the Fontana Dam. Fontana Dam um, construction began in January of 1942. It's part of the uh, uh, re uh, the results of uh, J Japan bombing Pearl Harbor. The need for electricity to uh, um, for all the manufacturing that was going to be needing to be done. Um, the uh, dam is 480 feet tall and stretches 2,385 feet across the Little Tennessee River, produces 238,000 ki uh, kilowatts of power, and it's um, it's uh, run by the TVA. And this uh, shows a little bit about the uh, the uh, dam and the uh, generation sta um, station. Uh, there was a there is an emergency spillway we passed over um, earlier. I didn't show it, uh, but uh, in case there was uh, too much water, there is an emergency spillway that we I went pa past earlier. The same board on the other side talks about the Appalachian Trail. In 1921, Benton McKay proposed the idea of creating the Appalachian Trail. Um, it was a massive building effort finally completed in 1937. It traverses 14 states, eight national parks. Uh, eight national forests, two national parks, and 15 major rivers. The highest elevation is Klingman's Dome, where it shall be at next week, 6,643 feet. Um, and to walk the entire length takes four to six months, and about 100 hikers complete the, that challenge each year. Good evening. I finished day 21, so three weeks in the books. I'm at mile marker 166, which is Fontana Dam. Tomorrow I will be leaving here, heading into the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, which is a, I think it's 73 miles across the park. Uh, my permit allows me eight days to complete the uh, transit across the park. Um, during that time, um, there is only one place to, uh, to um, where I cross any type of road, and that is in Newfound Gap. Um, in Newfound Gap, there is a, a bathroom uh, but not much else. The traffic uh, uh, going to Gatlinburg, uh, going through the Great Smoky Mountain National Park goes through now to Newfoundland. Yeah. Don't know if I will have any internet while I'm there. Um, probably not. So this may be the last video I put up for like eight days until I'm through the park. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, um, share that I am staying tonight at the Hiker Inn and we'll be leaving tomorrow morning about 7 o'clock for my first night in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and hope to be out of the, that the following Monday. Uh, I will post videos once I get uh, out of the park. Thanks.